Alvina Smith. Can you spell Alvina? A L V I N A. Okay. I'm a program coordinator for the Yellow Ribbon. Well, the purpose of the Yellow Ribbon event is to promote the well-being of soldiers um, of the National Guard and Reserve and also provide support for their families um, and the community. The family members are very important to the military. They are the soldiers' support system. And while the soldier is deployed, the family members may go through changes just as the soldier goes through changes, like um, a spouse, they may need to take over the family duties that that soldier was performing. Um, coming back from overseas, a lot of soldiers go through post-traumatic uh, stress disorder. Uh, family members need to know how to deal with that, how to recognize the signs. Uh, when I see that they enjoyed themselves, that they got the resources that we're trying to put out, that really makes me feel good. It also um, makes me feel good because I get to go through the journey with them uh, from phase one to phase three and even after phase three ends, uh, phase four, phase five and six, we still do have some kind of contact with these family members and soldiers. So it's a wonderful experience meeting these family members at these events. The family members are the soldiers uh, support system and family members are very very important to the military. They go through a change just as the soldiers are going through a change. Well, um, soldiers are very, very important. You know, they're very valuable. And when we come to a location like this that's very nice, very beautiful, we want soldiers to know that we appreciate the sacrifice that they're about to make for this country and for this military. Uh, being a soldier is something that we are proud of. So when you get that call, when you, you, you're told that you're being deployed, it doesn't really matter because your country has called you and you answer that call, you, you get together with your brothers and sisters and you get the mission done. So yes, there are some soldiers that may make more money on the civilian side, but when they do get called, they're ready. The 335th Signal Command is proud to be sending the 490th 10 overseas to uh, represent the command. We maintain a very, very important presence overseas and uh, the mission is to basically establish communication while in a hostile environment. And the Yellow Ribbon program is a very important part of that mission as well, getting those soldiers prepared to go overseas. First Sergeant Ricky Justice, J-E-S-T-I-C-E. -E. I went to King's High School in uh, Kings Mills, Ohio. It's a suburb of Cincinnati. The value to the Yellow Ribbon is very important because not only does it help prepare me, but it, it helps ensure that my family and my significant others are aware of what to expect while I'm gone and how to deal with issues that may arise and uh, how I may want them handled. It gives you a, a heads up as to what to look out for, what kind of decisions you need to make. Uh, they had covered earlier about, you know, little things as a vet. If my dog dies or is sick, where should we go? Uh, I think the, the you know, Army Reserve is, is stepping forward to realize and understand what problems reserve soldiers are having and their family members while they're gone, and they're, they're addressing that and helping out. So it's a big challenge. The uh, majority of our company is cross-leveled into the unit. Some soldiers I've met three times. Some soldiers I just met yesterday and today. It's going to be a, a big challenge. Uh, I'm going to miss my daughter's entire senior year of high school. Uh, it's, so I know it's going to be tough on her. This will be uh, her third time of separation with me. So it's going to be a huge uh, impact on her. Uh, my girlfriend, it's new to her. Uh, but she's, she's willing to take on the responsibilities of holding down the fort while I'm gone and uh, helping with my daughter. A lot, most of our company has not been deployed before. Uh, we've had some, some, a lot of volunteers come into the unit, which it, it's good to lead a group of volunteers that want to go versus soldiers that do not want to go. I feel, you know, I've got 21 years in, so I figured after this one I might have one more in me. Uh, the milita military takes me, it's taking care of me. Uh, it's part of my life, I enjoy it, and I don't think it's too much. It might be a burden on the family, 